guys, what's up? It's Maddie, and um, I know this is probably like my first or second video. I don't know when I'm gonna upload it. I don't know. I figured since like I haven't really been on YouTube much, um, I should do like a facts about me kind of video so we can get to know each other. And usually YouTubers do like 50 facts, but I feel like that's way too many, and like I don't want to bore you guys. Like seriously, that's gonna be like 20 minutes long, and I'm not about that life. So. I mean at 25 facts. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of like a Tinder type deal, you know. Um, this is my dating profile. Stay tuned. Let, 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 let's get started. Okay, fact number one is just my name. My name is Madeline Rose Therese Ward, which I know what you're thinking. Why does she have two middle names? I can answer that for you. So my original name was just Madeline Rose Ward, but I'm Catholic, so like when I get confirmed into the Catholic Church, which is like a thing that happens around like eighth grade maybe, it basically is like a way of like, like, I don't know, it's sort of like a, um, like when sororities make you like crash a bottle of vodka on your head or so, I, <laughs> who does that? I don't know. But um, yeah, it's like a christening into the Catholic Church sort of, except it's like, it's like more your choice than a baptism, let's put it that way. So when you get confirmed, you get to choose your saint name. So I chose Saint Therese, so now Therese is like one of my middle names basically, even though technically it's not legally that, but like shh. Okay, number two. I used to run cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track, but um, then I got like super bad, hella bad anxiety, and yeah, here we are. Don't know what happened, sorry mom. Fact three. Chick-fil-A is my life. I love it so much. It is my soul. I love it. I love it. I love it. <gasps> Chick-fil-A is everything. Chick-fil-A trumps all other fast food chains. If you don't agree with me, I don't care what you say. You're wrong. You are wrong. Chick-fil-A is bomb. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Okay, four. Fun fact. I can't really breathe through my nose solely. Um, I don't really know why. Maybe it's just me. Like, maybe I think my nose is bad, but really everyone else's noses are really bad, too. Sort of how, like, every teenager is like, oh, my back hurts, but, like, mm, come on. Like, you're a teenager. Like, when you're living in an old folks' home and your best friend's name is Miriam, you are not going to be happy that you were complaining about your back when you were a teenager. Five, I love ice cream to the point of obsession. It's sort of a family gene. My mom also loves ice cream to the point of obsession. Um... We go through way too much ice cream, like a gallon, like a week, which is pretty sad. Actually, honestly, to TBH, like, she has her own tub, I have my own, so, like, <clears throat> Number six. I don't understand why everyone and their mother is obsessed with baths. I don't get it. I don't, like, I understand, like, you get the last bath bomb and you drop it in and woo, and you Snapchat, like, five times so you can get every angle of your bath, but, like, you're, uh, like, you're bathing in your own filth. And I know, pe and, like, people are like, oh, I'm not that dirty. And, yeah, you're not. But, like, your skin, like, gets all, like, pruney and, uh, just, why? 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 Someone tell me. Tell me why. Number seven. I'm, like, horribly obsessed with makeup, but I suck at it. Number eight, when I was in middle school, I went through such a bad obsession with Bath & Body Works. Like, I literally bought everything Bath & Body Works that I could get my hands on. Ooh, number ten. So, my whole family has this thing we call the Hade Ear, which Hade is it's because that's, like, my mom's maiden name or whatever. Totally normal. Indent. There's an indent. Can you see the indent? Ooh, whoop. Eleven, I'm a Cancer. Do with that what you will. I don't really care that much about astrology, but apparently it's really important and it controls your life. So, 12. I hate coconuts with a burning passion deep in my soul. And guys, like, do you ever say you don't like something and then it's like everyone like attacks you and comes for you and it's like the end of the world. That's sort of what I've experienced with coconuts. The reason I don't like coconuts is that I had a very traumatic experience as a kid. Page 72. There I was, 
a young, innocent eight-year-old with so much life. All I wanted was a piece of cake. It looked like vanilla. It really did. But alas, this was no ordinary bite. I took a bite, I swallowed, and I cried. This was a bite of coconut cake! <sighs> Let's continue. 13. I'm one of those rare people that actually is somehow good at test taking. Like standardized test taking, like SATs and stuff like that. 14. I've been out of the country two times. Once I went to the Cayman Islands and the second time I went to Italy, which was really awesome because we got to go to Rome, Bologna, Venice, and Florence. So it was really awesome. We got to see like a bunch of stuff. Rome was definitely my favorite. If you ever have the chance to go to Rome, please go. Number 15. I'm in IB Art, which if you didn't know what that is, IB stands for International Baccalaureate. Which basically means that all the work you do is sent like across the world like to another country. That's why it's international. International baccalaureate. And um, it's really stressful, but it apparently means that I'm somewhat good at art and have artistic ability. So yay! 16. I took dance lessons since I was like maybe seven and I stopped right before my freshman year of high school because I thought that dance wasn't cool and people were going to make fun of me for it. So yeah, that's the story of the time that I um, gave up something that I loved just because I thought it wasn't cool. Don't do that kids, not a good idea. But um, I mean, I'm still fine and happy and everything's good, so. Okay, sorry if the light is changing, I'm like filming this with natural light and it's like slowly getting darker, I think it's going to rain. Bad YouTuber skills, you know. 17. Um, I really want to be a graphic designer. This is very random because I never really wanted to be a graphic designer and I thought it was like a lame job. But then I realized that it was a combination of art and computer skills, which I love both of those things. So yeah, I really want to do that. 18. I want a dog so badly. I've wanted a dog since I was like maybe zero years old. And my mom probably would be open to getting me one, except for the fact that I'm a senior in high school, so when I go off to college, like, then she's gonna have to take care of it. So I basically have to wait until I'm, like, 20-something to get my first dog, which, you yeah, know, I'm not mad. 19. Okay, this is really weird, but I, like, mouth words after I say them. Say I said waffle, like, here's an example, like, waffle. Like, without thinking about it. Like, I do that literally, like, without thinking. I'll just, like, look at someone and uh, and just be like, yeah, that's really cool. And they're just like, what the like, what are you doing? 20. I don't believe in love at first sight. If you believe in love at first sight, that basically means that you believe in objectification because all you know about that person is what they look like and nothing about their personality. So if you think like you love someone just by looking at them, like that's not love. So mm, what are you doing? 21. I wear nail polish so much that I don't even remember what my own nails look like, which is really unhealthy. 22. I have like post nasal drip, which is basically where the stuff in your nose like drips down your throat, which yeah, I know that's like hella disgusting. I really wish I could get it fixed and then just be basically like a second Tana Mojo, but like I don't know if it's actually that serious. Like yeah, Tana Mojo 2.0, like that's me. 23. I have a bunch of moles on the side of my face. <laughs> just because God got bored and decided, you know what, I'm like done with this. I just want to like add a couple more moles. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, God. Please don't hurt me. 24. I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I know it's not an interesting fact, but height difference. I don't understand why girl... Okay, you know, you know how girls are always like, oh my gosh, like guys over six foot, like... <sighs> like, control yourself. First of all, I don't understand what the big deal is. If you're like at least two inches taller than me, I really don't care. If you're attractive, you're attractive. Like why does your height matter that much? And honestly, girls that are like literally four nine and they're just like, oh, guy's over six foot. Like girl, you ain't even gonna reach him. Like you have to use a step stool to kiss him. I don't understand. But you know, 
I don't know if you guys noticed that that was not 25 facts, but um, you win some, you lose some. Sorry, come back next year. I don't know what to tell you. I feel weird telling you guys, like, subscribe and, like, like do what you want, but, like, 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 subscribe. <laughs>